And so when you come here, if you look at oxalates, low oxalate diet, and these are going to be the foods that you got to be careful of. And so you can see some of the lower oxalates. Now, again, in joint pain, this can be a potential issue. You also see it in vulvodynia, vaginal pain. It's also a big deal. Uh, again, we'll run an organic acid test. There's one by Great Plain Labs that we'll use that has um, a marker for oxalates. And a lot of times oxalates can be made by fungus and yeast. So we look at D-arabinose. We'll look at um, yeast in the stool to get a window of that. Of course, we want to make sure we're not feeding a lot of the yeast because usually the yeast are going to be fed with um, excess sugar, processed stuff as well. But you can see a lot of the high oxalates can be beer, chocolate, right? You're going to see on the fruit side or on the vegetable side, you'll see spinach is really high. So you can see some of the seeds. So you may get some benefit cutting out some of the seeds as well. On some of the fruit, you can see a lot of berries, right, which kind of stinks. But again, I mean, it's, you're going to see it more on the uh, vegetables, um, especially the spinach. So beans, celery, chives, there you go, spinach, very, very high. And so I just just recommend if you are someone that has a lot of joint pain, we can always test and run a specific organic acid test and see if those oxalates are high. If they are, we can work on cutting them out for a period of time. It's worth giving the try. This kind of gives you an idea of what's low, what's high here. I'll put this link down here below in the notes for you guys so you can access it. I hope you enjoyed it though. Perfect. And so we'll look at nightshades. We'll look at oxalates. We'll look at the inflammation in the diet. We're going to look at Collagen, connective tissue building blocks. Are you getting enough protein in your diet? Are you consuming enough protein? Is your hydrochloric acid and enzymes high enough? You keeping the inflammation down, artificial sweeteners and sugars and things like that. Um, now we look at anti-inflammatory supplements. So we could add also in things like higher dose fish oil. We could also add in vitamin C, which is a building block for collagen. We may also add in some liposomal curcumin, which is very anti-inflammatory. These are some really good options that we can add in to kind of bring the inflammation down. So we work on the diet strategies. We work on the good uh, collagen building blocks, connective tissue. We work on some of the anti-inflammatory supplements. We may look in the hormones too to see if we're overly catabolic versus anabolic, right? Do we have that breakdown of the adrenals happening? Do we have to work on supporting some of the anabolic side? So this kind of gives you a pretty good window of what to focus on. Again, this is Dr. Jay here. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments, share with family or friends. And again, I'll put a list of recommended products, the collagen, some of the supplements. You really want to get your digestion good. Make sure your protein's high enough. These are all really important foundational things to keep in mind and think about. And again, if you guys want to reach out and dive in deeper with myself or my colleagues, put a link down below where you can reach out and schedule with myself worldwide to get to the right root cause and what's happening with you. There's going to be a lot of inputs that can be driving this problem.